there will be days when you don't feel like doing anything and these are the days when you need to push the hardest. What has truly changed my life is the fact that nobody is going to come and save you. You are responsible for your own life. If you are unhappy with the life you are living right now, there is nobody to blame except for yourself. And this, I think, might be your greatest power. It's time to level up and get your fucking shit together. Hi and welcome to this new video on my channel. We will talk about, first of all, what it means to get your shit together. Together. Second of all, we will talk about what has helped me get my shit together. And number three, I will give you the kick in the ass you didn't know you needed. We don't have any time to lose, so let's start right away. What does it mean to get your shit together? Getting your shit together, take it quite literally. Getting your shit together means face the ugly truth of yourself. Face the fact that you are not taking care of your life as you would like to. Behind all of this is the deeper understanding that you are the creator of your own life. You need to claim full accountability for the situation you are in right now. And this was my mistake for such a long time. I used to blame other people in my social environment for a very long time. For different situations I found myself in. I blamed my teachers, I blamed my parents, I blamed friends. And the one thing I didn't do is I didn't blame myself. But I quickly understood that nobody is responsible for the grades I'm writing at school for the money I'm earning, for whether my life is good or bad. It all comes down to me and how I perceive reality and what I'm doing to improve myself. So in this video, I want you to take a moment and become very honest with yourself. It will mean facing the ugly truth, which I needed to do as well. Think about which dreams have you been putting off? Why aren't you living the life you promised yourself to live? And also think about the details because they matter. Why did you snooze this morning even though you promised yourself to wake up at 7 a.m.? Why did you snooze? Why did you slap in a little longer? A great book that I would definitely recommend you to read is Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. And David Goggins, the author of the book Can't Hurt Me, wow, he is, I believe, one of the toughest men on planet Earth. And he also shares a lot about claiming accountability. David Goggins started off as a guy who was broke, who didn't have the body he wanted to have, he was unhappy, he was constantly looking for the short-term dopamine and basically eating unhealthy stuff all day long. He wanted to train at the army but he didn't make it to the army and, and on one day he went into this bathroom and saw his reflection in the mirror. He stopped telling himself excuses and actually came quite honest with himself. He told himself, okay, look man, you are in a fucking bad position in your life and you are the only one who is going to change it. And that's what he did. Take this as an inspiration to pause for a second. Maybe also pause this video if you need to. Take a paper or maybe go into the bathroom and look into the mirror. And just stop romanticizing your life. And not from a point where you start hating yourself for who you are, what your past self has gone through but from a point where you stop telling yourself lies, from a point where you stop blaming other people. I always had big goals for myself, but it is one thing to have big goals and another thing to actually take action. That's what differentiates most people from the most successful ones. The people who have reached the top of the mountain and are still looking for the next even higher mountain. But they started at the bottom. They started understanding, fuck, I'm not even there yet. That's where I need to go. And I'm right here at the bottom, starting with zero experience, starting with nothing. St starting from scratch, basically. But they know nobody's going to come and fly them with a helicopter to the top. They need to go this way step by step. So let's go over to the next point. What has helped me get my shit together? <laughs> oh my god, I don't know why I think this phrase is so funny. I'm just laughing at myself sometimes. So the first tip might sound a little bit surprising. I started to get my shit together when I spent more time alone. And I don't mean that I isolated myself from other people. But I just decided very consciously that I would like to get to know myself better. And from that gain a deeper understanding for why I have certain emotions. Why I probably procrastinate. Which beliefs and which mindset I have about the world, about the people I'm dealing with every day. 
and I would highly recommend you to experience this on your own. What could also help you is going on a solo trip, for example. Traveling alone is a great way to get to know yourself better and also to just see how you function in different situations like stress or what makes you happy, the way you perceive things, how you behave when nobody's there. Getting your shit together starts with getting to know yourself better. For example, in the last six months, I moved out and I started live my life alone in a new city with basically almost nobody I knew before. Started paying for myself. I did everything my parents once used to do for me, cleaning. And of course it was definitely time for me to do all these stuff like managing your household, paying my own bills and the positive side effect that came along with moving out and discovering a new city on my own that I had more time to actually figure out who I I am and also start recreating my own life apart from the normal environment I was in for like 18 years back when I lived in my old hometown with my family and all the people I used to know for years I would say it was one of the best things I could do. During this time, I got to know my self-limiting beliefs, how I feel like when nobody's there. I also had more time to journal and actually writing down my thoughts, which helped me gain more clarity for certain self-limiting beliefs I still have and, and which childhood traumas cause me to perceive the world the way I do. So childhood traumas, that's a whole other big, big, big topic. But these are just some examples from the experience experience I could gain by living with myself for a time and not seeing a lot of people every day. Because back to this point, I was surrounded by people all day long. Tip number two is get organized. Organize with every area of your life. Get organized with your money. Track your finances. What I did is I downloaded an app which helps me to track my expenses and my income so that I can clearly see at the end of every month, okay, that's the amount of money I spent and that's the amount of money I earned. Have a calendar, write down your appointments, schedule appointments with other people, but also plan in time for yourself and for the activities you promised yourself to do. Whether it's going to the gym, learning a new skill, meeting new people, having a self-care day, whatever it is, make it happen and also write it down into your calendar because what's written down usually gets done. Everything that is written down in my calendar, it gets done. Everything that is not written down, I don't even know. Getting organized also means developing certain routines. Creating habits gives your everyday life a certain structure and makes you actually create a system that brings you towards your goals without even the need to think about them all day long. A simple example would just be you make sure you go to the gym every day at 7 a.m. and when the alarm clock hits 7 a.m. you are standing with both of your feet in the gym <laughs> and it's nothing more than that you just need to show up and stay consistent this example basically brings me to my next point anybody who follows me on the social media platforms i post will know that fitness is one of the highest priorities in my life i go to the gym six times a week and on rest days i usually have some kind of active recovery which means going for a walk or just riding the bike and of course that means that i also try to fuel my body with lots of healthy foods i usually avoid refined sugar or drinking alcohol i'm really not into all of this stuff because what i understood is that getting my shit together getting my life together claiming accountability for myself also starts with taking care of my body because when i take care of my body it creates this very productive interdependent relationship getting more focused getting more stuff done while also feeling better being healthy and living with your highest energy level possible and then of course when a problem occurs i claim full accountability for this problem I never look for the mistakes in other people. My business is not making enough money. If I am not earning enough money, I don't blame my business, I don't blame my parents. I look for what I could improve. What am I doing wrong? What is the reason why I am not earning the money I would like to earn? always brings me back into the position of control. And when you are in control of your own life, you've almost succeeded already. Another thing that makes me feel like I have my shit together is I do care a lot about my looks and also showing other people that I respect them but that I also respect myself by always trying to look nice. Wow, the next tip has truly changed my life. 
Become very aware of the people you surround yourself with. People in your life have such a huge impact on the way you perceive the world, on your mindset and also how successful you are in your life. People with low self-esteem, with bad habits and a lack of self-accountability usually influence you in a way that you become like them that you adopt their negative patterns. And this happens really unconsciously, which is the most dangerous thing. Because we don't even realize that spending so much time with negative people truly changes the way we live and the way we think about the world. And the last tip that helped me to get my life together is taking action towards the life I promised to myself. Whenever I need to start a new project, whenever I'm sitting here and writing the script for a new podcast episode or also a new YouTube video, it's normal that I feel a little resistance before I start. I know that there's something inside me trying to hold me back, which is normally procrastination. And there are a lot of reasons why we procrastinate, why I tend to procrastinate sometimes. I'm just, I'm being real with you, I'm also just a human being. But these kind of situations, when you know you need to do something that brings you closer to your goals, they matter. And you need to get them done, even though you feel this resistance. Just start, and this is basically the best tip I can give you, just start taking these necessary steps you know you need to take in order to get to your goals. Sit down, create a vision for your life, sit down and write your goals down on a piece of paper so that you have them black on white in front of you and then just see it as an experiment. I always try to emphasize this because it has helped me a lot. Try to see everything as an experiment. You're just the scientist who tries to see what happens if you take action. And this usually takes a lot of pressure from your shoulders and makes you start the, the task in front of you with much less resistance. Once you started, you have created this momentum and nobody's going to stop you. And now, last but not least, here comes the kick in the ass you didn't know you needed. I want you to know that getting your shit together is just a decision you need to take. And you can take it today. The one realization that might inspire you just like it inspired me is having small goals is hard and Having big goals is hard. Imagine yourself six months from now, 12 months from now. How proud would this person be to see that you made progress, that you took this decision to get your life together and move it to the next level. Just think about this feeling. How proud would you feel? How accomplished would you feel about your life and that you are closer Maybe just one step closer to your goal, but you are one step closer. And do not forget, whatever situation you're in, it's either your fault or your win. I can't describe the feeling of knowing that my life is completely created by myself and I'm in control of everything. You're one decision, one decision away from a completely different life. So these are all my tips. Let me know down in the comments which tips you have to get your shit together. Maybe you have already any experience with that or you have just a favorite tip that you would like to share. I'm just very excited to see how we can help and inspire each other to live a better life. So if this video brought any kind of value to you, I would be so glad if you hit the subscribe button and follow my channel. I'm really looking forward to talk about amazing topics with you again and I wish you a wonderful day. Bye bye!